what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out and if you didn't know i have a patreon where i post patreon only content i have had the last two weeks off because i've been on holiday and getting ready to go on holiday and in general i just didn't get a chance to film patreon only video while i was away but I'm back and I'm going to be posting one video a week so make sure you check that out, I'll link it on the iCard up there. Today we're talking about something serious. September is Suicide Prevention Month. Now I don't normally make videos like this because I believe that suicide prevention should be a, a, an awareness thing that happens all year round, not just in, in September. So that's what we're talking about. So for Suicide Prevention Month I thought I'd share information about my last suicide attempt. My last major suicide attempt. Now there are many reasons why I decided to try and make an attempt on my life and honestly I still completely understand why I thought it was the only option. So. How I was feeling before I took the overdose of Glad Desired. Basically, I had no money. I had a job lined up that I was going to start in Brighton because I just moved from London to Brighton. And that's backwards because I'm back in London now, but. It was a great week in Brighton. I felt very isolated because I didn't know anybody. And honestly, it was a really hard time in my life. I was out of contact with my family. And honestly, if I could go back in time, I, would, I wouldn't have moved to Brighton. The reason I wanted to move to Brighton is because I wanted to be close to a beach. Turns out I moved 45 minutes away from a beach. But that all of them things led to a suicide attempt. I basically overdosed on glitlazide, which is a diabetic medication that tries to help your body produce more insulin and lowers your blood sugar. I'm not going to say how many tablets I took because honestly, I took a lot. <laughs> I didn't count them, but the, there was about four months worth. When I'd been in hospital, I hadn't been taking the medication I picked up from the pharmacy, so it just built up. Then the mental health team, crisis team, came to visit me. I was all spaced out and they said, have you taken an overdose? And I said, yes. They called for an ambulance and stayed with me until the ambulance came. Then I got put in the ambulance. They tried to give me activated charcoal. It's nasty. I literally threw up. Not my best moment. But they did then give me a drink of water to try and wash my. And then I got taken to A&E. Originally, I was okay there. They did my blood sugar, it was 2.8, which is dangerously low. I have had lower, but. And then I tried to leave, and I got. They said you don't have capacity to make that decision. So I was detained under the Mental Capacity Act. Then I tried to leave again, I got put on a Section 52, which if you don't know what that is, it's a 72 hour hold that a doctor can put you on. In urgent need, it requires a mental health act assessment at some point in it. And the long story very short is I got put on a Section 2, which led to two Section 3s. 
and yeah it's just it's quite sad I got restrained a lot when I was in Sussex County Hospital I made a whole video talking about my experience at the hospital I'll link it on the i card up there but what I mean when I say it was traumatising is the amount of restraints they put me in for no reason at all I got restrained for trying to go to the toilet they said you need support because I'd had a nervous breakdown which is one of the hardest things I've ever been through if you'd like me to make a video on what a nervous breakdown is like let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely make that video um, anyway the point of me sharing my story is to say that you're not alone with your suicidal thoughts I'm here to talk to you there are helplines linked in the description down below for the UK and Queensland Australia yeah this is all I've got for this video so stay strong stay safe stay sober and I'll see you in my next video peace